Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we shall take a look at national income and related aggregates. These are very important concepts that you need to remember, especially while solving numericals from national income. All right. So without wasting any time further, let's take a look at what these related aggregates are and how we can go about solving the numericals for national income. Now, when we take a look at national income aggregates, there are basically three major categories that we need to take a look at. The first is the domestic category, national category, and the cost component. So when we take a look at domestic category, we have two major components here. First is gross output, and the second is net output. We can generally call it as gross domestic product and net domestic product. So, GDP would refer to the gross market value of all final goods and services that are produced within the domestic territory of a country during a given period of one year. So net domestic product refers to the net market value of all final goods and services that are produced within the domestic territory of a country during a period of one year. This is generally a financial year. Likewise, when we talk about the national component, we again have the gross and the net the only difference is it is produced by the residents of the country irrespective of where they are located so gross would represent again the total market value of all the production that is done by indian residents irrespective of where they are located and net national product would be the net market value of all the final goods and services produced by indian residents again irrespective of where they are located when we talk about the cost component, we have two major categories again here from the producer's side and from the consumer's side. So from the producer's side, this component is called as factor cost and it basically would represent the pure production costs that would be incurred by producers in producing those goods and services. So it would include rent, wages, interest and profit. Market price on the other hand is the value at which the product is generally sold in the market and this is the money that the consumer would pay to acquire that commodity. So market price would basically include all the costs incurred by producers plus all the taxes levied by the government for selling that particular commodity. Okay. So based on all these components, we have these aggregates that we need to remember. So we have gross domestic product at market price, net domestic product at market price. Likewise, we will have gross domestic product at factor cost and net domestic product at factor cost. Similarly, for the national component, we have gross national product at factor cost and net national product at factor cost and gross national product at market price, net national product at market price, right? So these are the uh, major components that we need to remember. In all, these are eight aggregates. Now, out of these eight, there are two important concepts that we need to remember, and they could be referred with these other names which I've listed here. The NDP at factor cost is also called as the domestic income of a country and NNP which is net national product at factor cost it is called as the national income of a given country so if your question focuses on domestic income you need to remember that it is NDP at factor cost and if your question is asking you about national income you need to remember that it is NNP that is net national product at factor cost okay now let us take a look at some important formulas and concepts so the first concept that we need to remember here is depreciation. Uh, depreciation could also be called as current replacement cost, uh, consumption of fixed capital or replacement costs. If any of these components or these concepts are available in your question, consider it as depreciation. So when we talk about depreciation, it's basically the reduction in the market value of goods and services due to their usage or passage of time. Say for example, you buy a car today, which is 2024, right? And you sell the car in 2025. So you won't fetch the same price for that car when you sell it in the next year because you've used it for one year. Even if you sell it the very next day, it would be still considered at second hand and you won't fetch the same price 
that you bought it for. So the reduction in that price of the car is depreciation, right? Second concept that we need to pay attention here is net indirect taxes. So net indirect taxes can be calculated as the difference between indirect taxes and subsidies. So indirect taxes are the taxes that are levied on the consumption aspect of consumers. So when you purchase goods and services from the market, the MRP is inclusive of these taxes. This is called as an indirect tax. For example, in India, we have GST. So whether you buy a movie ticket or fruity bottle or any XYZ clothing from a mall, the price will include the GST component to it, which is an indirect tax. Subsidy, on the other hand, is a financial grant that is given by government to producers to produce more of that particular commodity. All right. So NIT or net indirect taxes is indirect taxes minus subsidies. It's a very important formula we need to remember. The next component here is NFIA means net factor income from abroad. So factor income from abroad simply means the income that uh, a country would generate when the residents of one country are interacting or transacting with the residents of other countries. All right. So when we talk about net factor income from abroad, the formula is net factor income from abroad minus net factor income to abroad. That means whatever money is flowing inside our country minus whatever money is flowing outside of our country. The difference between these two is NFIA and this is the component which is very, very important when we are talking about national income. To move from gross to net, we will have to reduce depreciation from the gross. Say for example, I need to calculate net domestic product. So all I need to do is gross domestic product minus depreciation and I get my net domestic product. Now these are important points that we need to remember while solving for the numericals. So one I've already explained. So to go from gross to net, we need to reduce the depreciation the other way around, to go from net to gross, we need to add the depreciation component therein. Likewise, to go from domestic to national, we need to add net factor income from abroad to the domestic component. To go from national income to domestic component, we need to reduce the net factor income from abroad from the national component. Likewise, to go from factor cost to market price, we need to add net indirect taxes. On the other hand, to go from market prices to factor cost, we need to reduce net indirect taxes. Let's take a look at what and how these formulas could be implemented with a few examples. So in this example, we are supposed to calculate net domestic product at market price. The information that we have here is gross domestic product at market price and consumption of fixed capital. So let's see how we could go ahead and solve for this. So we remember to go from gross to net, we need to reduce depreciation. So let us do that. To find net domestic product at market price, the first thing that we need to do is take the gross domestic product at market price and reduce the depreciation from it. But do we really have depreciation? Yes, we do. It's not written directly as depreciation, but we do have consumption of capital, which represents depreciation. Let's infuse the values therein. So gross domestic product at market price is 4000 and depreciation or consumption of capital is 600. So NDP at market price is 3,400. Now these figures could be in crores, it could be in millions, it could be in lakhs, depending upon how the question portrays it and that's how you need to put the market value therein. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we are supposed to calculate net domestic product at factor cost. Let's see what information we have. So we have gross domestic product at market price, we have depreciation, we have indirect taxes and we have subsidies and these figures are in crores. 
So the first thing that we need to do is we need to check what aggregate we have in our problem. So we have gross domestic product at market price and we are supposed to calculate net domestic product. All right. So we do have gross domestic product at market price and we are supposed to calculate net domestic product at factor price. So this is the component that we need to arrive at and this is the component that we need to arrive at. So let's see how do we go about that. So to go from gross to net all we need to do is reduce depreciation as we studied in the previous slide and to go from market price to factor cost we need to deduct NIT or net indirect taxes. Let's see how that works. So net domestic product at factor cost could be calculated as GDP at market price minus depreciation minus net indirect taxes. So we have GDP at market price minus depreciation minus indirect taxes minus subsidies. So it would be 1000 which is the value of GDP minus 100 which is the value of depreciation minus indirect taxes are at 50 crores subsidies are at 10 crores. Could you solve this from here and give me the answers in the comment box. The details with regards to NIT which is net indirect taxes uh, factor cost and market prices are available on my channel. There will be a separate dedicated list available for national income. So you can check those out over there if in case you are not understanding the meanings. And stay tuned to that playlist because I will be adding few more videos. In the next video we will take a look at how national income could be accounted for given the three methods of calculating national income. Alright. Students if you find my videos useful please do like and subscribe to my channel and also Share my videos if you feel your friends could get benefited from them as well. I shall see you in my next video where I shall talk about calculation of national income through the different methods. Alright, bye now. Take care.